This is 100 acres of farmland you see behind me, but the crops that grow here are at risk because salt water is getting into their water supply. We farm pickles, cucumbers, tomatoes, carrots. Bobby Costa's farmed this land for 35 years. Well, it's our livelihood. Missing birthdays, sports games, and family time to keep up with crops. We put everything on the line, hoping to make enough back to pay our bills. You know, this year it's very challenging. This year, 25% of the Costa Ag Company's cucumber crop didn't make it because the water supply from the nearby delta was too salty. If you continue to lose 25% of your crops every year, what does that do to you and, and your family? Well, we have to shut down eventually. We can't continue down this road. So what's happening to the Delta, one of California's most important waterways, and why is it full of salt? The Delta itself, and it's both used in the Delta for farming, tens of millions of people receive at least some of their drinking water from the Delta. But Delta Water Agency Council John Herrick explains the freshwater estuary also contains salt water from the Pacific Ocean tide pools. And with the drought drying up fresh runoff from the Sierra, the salt water is taking over. If it doesn't rain this coming year, uh, we're going to have what I would think would be catastrophic problems, both for urban areas and farmland. Reservoirs including Folsom and Oroville are used to flood the Delta when it needs more fresh water, but those are drying up too. If you don't have water flowing down the main rivers into the Delta, then you lose control of the Delta, which means the ocean water will slowly come in on each tide, you know, move in and uh, you won't have fresh water to deliver to communities. California Department of Water Resources tells CBS 13 they're monitoring the situation, controlling fresh water flows to prepare for further drought situations. When you know storage is low and we don't have certainty of when we're going to get more rain, that's when we need to take actions to try to reduce the amount of water that we release. In 2020, California exported more than $20 billion worth of agricultural products. This is a huge industry, and if it's seriously impacted, it doesn't just mean a loss of food, but it means a loss of jobs for these families. Thanks, Laura. New tonight, Sacramento County appointing a new task force on climate change. The 13 person panel is tasked with providing insight and guidance to the county on climate related issues. The task force is made up of people who speak